I leant forward and presented my hands. Oh, God. Could I put these gloves on and keep my cool in front of the tribe? Have mercy. Oh, 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 oh. Obviously not. Oh, oh, oh. What do I do? What do I do? You have to dance to release the pain, Amish. OK, can we dance then? Jeez, I was going to be surprised if this helped. Seems like a, a very strange directive from the doctor, isn't it? Just dance. And evidently, it didn't. Hang in there, buddy. Hang in there. Because Hames soon commenced what we now know as the six stages of sting pain. Shrieking. <laughs> Refusal to dance. You have to dance. I don't want to dance. I want to... This is the last time I've ever felt like dancing. Screaming slash and or swearing. <laughs> Sweating. <laughs> Some shaking. <laughs> Biting stick requests. <laughs> Problem was, this went on for an hour, relentlessly. Cold water? <laughs> yeah. How's that? I need ice. Yeah, I'll get you ice. I'll get you ice. <laughs> Toxin from the ants generates the worst pain a human is capable of experiencing. There was nothing I could do to help him, so I essentially stood by in shock at the reaction. That's just not stopping. We later found out that not only do these ants sting multiple times a second, but they release a pheromone telling any nearby ants to also sting. Oh, dear. He had been stung a hundred times over. By the two-hour mark, yeah. Hamish had collapsed with yeah. exhaustion, but it was clear the pain hadn't receded at all. And the doctor offered up a suggestion. Let's go to a hospital. We made the hour-long trip back to the closest hospital where luckily the emergency doctors were able to treat Haim and I was able to find a seat. Hola. 